Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about how to balance work, how to balance your school, your studies, any other commitments with your, in your life with appointment setting because I know a lot of you, I speak to a lot of these people, they've got work going on, they've got these commitments in their life and it's very hectic but they want to make time still for appointment setting and start making their way to remote online freedom, online money. Um, but in the beginning it's always going to be the hardest because you've got these other commitments going on so we're pretty much just going to break down how to get around that today. So if you're going to enjoy this video, make sure you like, you comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And one on one mentorship spots is open for February. There's five of them. So be quick because we've almost locked out all the spots from last month and the student results have been crazy so far. So make sure you lock in your spot down below if you want to learn directly from me. But anyways, let's get straight into this. What I'm going to say first, I'm going to open with a quote. And that is, if it is important enough to you, you'll find a way okay if it is important enough to you you'll find a way think about what you spend okay, obviously apart from work apart from school apart from family time what do, what do you actually do in the spare hours of your day like is it playing video games is it going to the gym is it hanging out with friends what kind of friends are they are they toxic friends are they low level people or are they high level people so think about what you spend the majority of your time doing and that's a pretty good indicator as to how what you value and how much you value it okay so if we're going to start valuing appointment setting, if we're actually going to start taking remote work seriously, the, you know, breaking out of the matrix, whatever you want to call it, making money online and actually making something out of yourself, then you better start valuing it a ton because there's other people out there who values it way more than you and they're going to put in the more, the, more of the hours, more of the commitment into it and beat you, okay? So things that are low-level activities, video games, partying, you know, I'm not saying never ever party again. I'm not saying don't play video games ever again or you're banned from it. All I'm saying is for the time being, cut it down because that's what's going to happen. You're going to free up your time and then that's more time to devote into appointment setting, into high ticket sales, even your own business. OK, so make sure you cut out the things that, you know, are low level and find yourself free up, more, find yourself freeing up more time because success is not about adding more things to your plate and doing more. It's about removing the things that are holding you back first. So you need to identify the things that hold you back first. That's wasting a lot of your time. And then once you've done that, you'll find that your day opens up and you find it a lot easier to balance both appointment setting with your work or your school. Or maybe even you're going to school and you have part-time job. Maybe you have two part-time jobs. Maybe you're getting to the point where it's, it's near impossible. You don't know how appointment setting fits into the picture. But trust me, like I've met killers who've made it happen. Okay, I've met this, what's his name? I met this Mexican guy. He's only 18, 19. And when he started in one of the programs that I, I helped mentor in or I helped coach in, you know, he was just going to school, wasn't making a lot of money, especially for his age. And then give it six to 12 months time, he's now killing it, he's pushing like 5K months. He's uh, on two offers, he's doing setting and sales and he's making a killing and he, he's, I'm really proud of him. But that just, that's just a testament to the quote that I entered in the beginning being, if it is important enough to you, you'll find a way. Okay, so it's just a commitment you have to make, guys. There's no easy fix. You have to just commit to this journey. Short-term pain for long-term pleasure. You know, why are you even doing this? Let's, let's go to that. Like, why are you even getting into appointment setting? Obviously, for the money, that's, that's a good entry-level motivation. But as you get in the game, if all you're doing is for money and nothing else and not setting, up, setting yourself up for a legacy or, you know, treating your family, whatever the motivation may be, if it's just shallow then that's 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 all that's as far as you're gonna go but if you have a strong reason why you're even doing this in the first place then no other option is going to be an option right this is going to be the only option it's going to be the path you're going to cut out all the plan b's plan c's and this is going to be your plan a like i know for myself when i was in uni i already knew for a fact even the, the moment i signed up and i was going to start my first year i already knew i wasn't going to finish it one way shape or another and then fast forward i did a year in uni and then I didn't want to continue it anymore. It wasn't for me. I got parents. I got friends. I got people telling me it's not the wisest thing to do. You know, you should just get a job. You should stick it out for one more year. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. Why? Because I saw my plan A. My plan A was to, you know, get out of this system and make my own way. Make my own money. Be remote. Do what I like. Do, however, do it however I like. So... That was me in uni, as tough as the decision was. And for most people, it's going to be a tough decision. I decided to drop out. 
maybe you need to consider whether you should drop out or not and pursue this, right? Um, I, know, I know when I dropped out, I didn't have anything to show for it. I wasn't even in an appointment setting at the time. I was trying to figure out my own business. It was a coaching business. So if you actually look back on my old videos, you'll see the old content that was there. It was all like how to grow your coaching business, how to market, how to get clients. And then you'll see if you scroll up on my, from my old videos onwards, it, the, the content started to change and my priorities started to change. And that's when I got into appointment setting full time. But one thing, never le one thing never changed, and that was me sticking to the grind and actually posting consistently. And uh, yeah, sticking to my, my journey, okay? So if this is something you actually want to do, you got to make sure that you're, pro you're putting time and effort into it. You're actually making it a commitment to yourself, not just to everyone else, but to yourself that this is something you want to do. And that's the most important part. As long as you've made that commitment, you're now 80% of the way there. Now let's talk logistics. So you're 80% of the way there, you know this is something you wanna do and you're gonna cut out all the stuff in the short term that is holding you back, right? Logistics now, let's say you're working, let's say you're, you're going to school, you can appointment set in the times that you're free. As I said earlier, you've cut out all the stuff, the distractions, now you have all the spare time. In that spare time, what you could be doing is for example, hunting for positions, you could be setting up your profile. I mean, just follow my YouTube channel, just follow my videos. And then the, the spare time that you have, just do what I say in the videos, all right? It's only going to take like one, two, maybe three hours. So if you're looking for a position at the moment, look for, look for positions. Set up your profile properly, you know, learn what makes a good and a bad offer. Start doing outreach. Start building your, uh, your most powerful outreach method being the video and DM method, which is on my channel. If you dig down, it's going to be there. So set up your video outreach, your DM outreach. And start doing your yeah. Do your outreach, do some follow-ups, help on interviews, and then you'll, you'll have landed your position. Okay, all that time that you had, that you used to play video games with, that you used to, you know, be distracted with. Now you're doing it to something that's going to build you up in the long term, right? Let's say you now landed a position. In the times that, in the times you're not in office, in the times that you're not working, or, or studying even, in the times that you're not revising for for exams, for example. You can then be, let's say you're in a position now, then you can be setting appointments. You can be having your conversations. You can go through your inbox. Maybe you want to educate yourself. You go through some of my videos. You go through a course. You know, learn a bit here and there. You can be doing your follow-ups. You can be doing a lot of stuff, guys. You can be tracking your numbers, filling out your tracking sheet. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Like, there's always something you could be doing to move the needle forward. Make sure you just prioritize it in the first place and make a commitment to this, uh, to this journey because, you know, a lot of people give up, a lot of people flake, and uh, some people just say it's not for them. I hear it all the time. They go into this, they're super excited, they're happy, they're motivated, and then some stuff comes up, and all of a sudden now they think it's not for them. And this is, it's just the plain truth. If it sounds harsh, then it is what it is, but I've seen it time and time and again. So if that's not going to be you, if you decided that is not going to be you and it's something you actually want to commit, commit on and reap the rewards with like I have, then make a commitment, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was very insightful and it actually woke you up. It was a bit of a wake-up call for you to, to embark on this journey and actually stick through it. You three, six months down the line, 12 months down the line, you're going to be so happy and so thankful for yourself that you committed to this journey. Um, and now you're going to be, you know, reaping the rewards. You're now in Thailand. You're now working remotely. You've learned a new skill. You learned two skills, three skills that's going to carry you for the rest of your life. And now you've built your connections up. Tons of benefits to this. I know I've, I've experienced it, but it all starts with you making a commitment first and carving out time for it. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. One-on-one -on -one mentorship spots. And again, if this is something you want to commit on, but you just need the right mentor in your in your corner or you just need some accountability to push you to the finish line if you need a community like we got guys in the community that will support you and help you get closer to your goals and hold you accountable and tell you when you're falling off right if you want that as well if even if that is remotely valuable to you book a call down below you can apply you can message me on instagram if you have any questions but this mentorship you know i'm putting my heart and soul into this i'm making sure that the students are getting the best results they can and i'm gonna make sure that they get all the resources, all the accountability they need, and make sure that they actually commit to this journey like I'm telling you today in this video, all right? So hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.